Mr. Speaker, I rise today in strong support of H.R. 3036, the National 9-11 Memorial at the World Trade Center Act. It was introduced by my friends, Congressman Tom MacArthur and Jerry Nadler, two sentinels of Americans' liberty and freedom. President Bush traveled to the site with Democrats and Republicans. I have never seen, in my experience here, no other effort close to it of how we were united. We accomplished so much when we were united. And we learned to respect each other even more. On that day, our lives, our country, and the world changed forever. <clears throat> and in the aftermath, Americans came together for a common purpose, to rescue, to rebuild, and remember those we lost, friends, neighbors, many of them. They were from all faiths, all persuasions. This memorial and the museum at the World Trade Center were constructed so that we never forget those brothers and sisters, children and parents, cousins and colleagues. We called them that at the time, and yet the further we get from 9-11, we very seldom refer to sisters and brothers, except for our relatives and our brave first responders that perished during one of the darkest moments in our nation's history. Ensuring this memorial site will be here for years to come will give millions of people around the world the opportunity to pay tribute to those lost, and we find inspiration in how our nation recovered. As a proud supporter of our National Park Service, I know they will make sure the site remains a sacred place of healing and of hope as a national memorial. As a result, Mr. Speaker, I urge swift passage of H.R. 3036 to solidify the memorial standing, to honor the memories of those we lost, to ensure future generations can learn about that tragic day. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I yield back my time. Jim, he yields back. Jim from New Jersey is recognized. Can I inquire how?